Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I am mixing up resin. I've mixed 28 ounces for a large tray. This tray is I think 18 inches long and about 13 inches across so it's super large and I have handles that are you know appropriate size for the tray. That's always something to keep in consideration. I am using Counterculture Artist Resin Medium Viscosity Equal Parts A and B, the green and yellow label. Mixed for six minutes. So the copper color I want is really, really kind of close to this. Um, this is an oil paint for model cars and uh, I've never used it before but I'm going to try it today. I don't know how much to use so I'm just going to start with a little bit. So that colored it really nicely. I think I do want to warm it up just a bit. Put in a little bit of this is Pell Gold by Aridron from Laura's Art Corner. Put one scoop in there. I have copper mica powder, but I wanted to give this oil paint a shot because it's a little. Uh, warmer as opposed to like copper penny red like this. I don't know if you can see the difference. This is a little warmer, more a little bit more bronzy. This is a little bit more reddish. This is Auburn and I am going to use a scoop And that's by Etsy Funshine Color Shop. It's Auburn. Really don't have a formal plan for this. I just know I'm going to do it in a white, a gray, pewter, and copper. I would love to get like a geode thing going on just by pouring it, but I don't know that it'll work that way. It may just all kind of gravitate towards the center. We will see. The gray, I'm going to do Armor Art White. Pretty good amount. This is Bombay Ink, and I don't know how much will make my white gray. I don't think I want any more than that. That might have been too much. I put a little bit too much black, so I'm going to put a little bit more white in. So there's copper and there's the gray. So this one I'm going to put anthracite and this is by Etsy Funshine Color Shop. It's kind of a pewter color. I don't want it close to my gray color so I may have to deepen it just a bit. And then I'm going to add a little black Bombay ink. A little white in it and a little too far on the black again. So there's a good difference between the two. I just wanted to make sure they were different enough. So the rest is going to be white. So I'm going to add Armor Art white.
Put in a little Bombay ink as well. I want it to be opaque, I don't want it to be transparent. I'm going to put some Pearlax Micro Pearl Powder. So basically I have about 12 ounces of the white and the other 16 ounces is divided among the three colors. It's at 14 minutes. So I'm going to wait till about maybe 25 before I put it into the mold, I think. Or I'll wait and see how it feels warmth wise because the warming sensation that you feel is really the best way to distinguish if a if the resin is getting to a certain point and so you want to pay a little bit closer attention to the warming Okay, I'm at um, 26, almost 27 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and start. And like I said, I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm just going to try it. Okay, so not what I planned at all, but got to go with it and let it set up. Spritz some alcohol and cover it. I'll be back in a little bit to uh, set the handles. Got two handles here. Okay, so it's been several hours and you saw me put the handles on and I it only been two hours and this is medium viscosity and it was already 
uh, slick to the touch maybe because of the depth I don't know it was 28 ounces of resin so I had to really press hard to get the handles to kind of stick and then I put some clear nail polish just to make them steady to hold them until I could pour my next layer of resin so now I have 20 ounces of resin so I'm, I was going to put totally clear and I'm just going to put a tiny tiny bit of sparkle white put one little scoop and see what it looks like so it just makes it look like fairy dust one little tiny scoop and that's all you need That one little scoop went very far. I just want to say it takes very little to add shimmer. That softens the look slightly because I am doing this for my future daughter-in-law and son who are getting married on Easter. And they have very particular taste and I don't know if they'll like it or not so we'll see we've got a shower this weekend so I'm gonna see if they like it this mold holds 64 ounces of resin that's a lot of resin I'm not gonna fill it to the top so right now it's a good half inch thick or more between the first coat and this one. So it's a large mold. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. And this thick sucker, even though I didn't pour it as thick as the mold is, is ready to demold. So I'm just going to loosen it up on the edges. Here's the top. And I'm going to uh, get all these little extra side pieces off, the little tiny pieces that kind of run down the side of the mold. All right, so if you can see from the side, it's probably about three quarters of an inch thick. Okay, and so since this has. Um, copper and you can see the bits of gold that I mixed into the copper it kind of came up to the top too uh, but I'm going to use a copper paint pen it's a deco color and it's in my Amazon link below the video it is oil based and I'm just going to go around the top rim So there's just a tiny little lip on the edge of the resin and that helps your pen just glide along, glide along very smoothly. You don't really have to do much to control it. That's the beauty of it. Now it has that gold rim, but it's still, I like, I like to be able to see the sides, just to see it through it. I could color it very easily with the pen. So there it is. 
and that little white sparkle that I added in the top coat just kind of softened everything just slightly which I wanted it to do so so here's the inspiration photo with the rust copper colored pillows and a deep charcoal platinum color and then a neutral on white and that's why I chose these colors so I'm hoping that that will be something that they like and they can use for many years in their bedroom as a little lap tray it's super heavy I bet it weighs about three or four pounds it's really heavy and I didn't even go to the top of the tray with the resin I did not use 64 ounces I used about 48 or so and I have this thick uh, you can see it's about the width of a finger it's a good half to three quarter inch thickness so and uh, I also wanted to show you one other little thing is I had this these leaves that I had made earrings for my sister and I had leftover resin that I put into a coaster and put some leaves in there and uh, I just unmolded this and added a little copper line along the edge but there's a little copper leaves um, not for this but I just wanted to show you this little coaster with leaves dried leaves embedded in the resin so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you learned something make sure to check out all the links below the video i use i always list all my products that i've used and make sure to go over to facebook and join my facebook group there's also art healing hearts auctions group on facebook the link is below the video heather mater and i partnered together to make an auction group for artists to connect with people all across the country and we do an auction every several months we did one in December and we're going to do one in March and we've already got the artists picked out for that there's a waiting list you can also go to our website www.arthealingheartsauctions.com and sign up for a newsletter to find out when our next events will be Come join our Facebook group for support, just to support other artists and as they participate in these auctions to give them some moral support and maybe you might even see something you want to purchase in that auction. So those links are below the video and I would love for you to come join and support. So I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye bye.